Hey everybody, welcome to Crack Pack number 42 on the Mana League. I'm John as always, and we are well into Oath of the Gatewatch. I have plenty of packs for the next several, several weeks. So we're going to crack this pack on open, see what we've got, discuss the cards, and see what we would take. Pack one, pick one. Were we in a draft? On top, we've got ourselves a Mighty Leap. One and a white for an instant at common. Of course, it's a common. Commons are on the front. Um, target creature gets plus two, plus two, and gains flying until end of turn. Not first pickable. Uh, playable if you need it, but I generally try not to play Mighty Leap. So if, it, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm playing it, it means that I have fallen short on removal slash creatures slash everything else. Uh, it's not something I'm looking to play. Certainly not first pick. Next up, we have Consuming Sinkhole. Consuming Sinkhole is three and a red for an instant. Choose one exile target land creature. Big giant whoop. Yeah, there's some land creatures here and there. Yeah, you could bring it in the sideboard if you see like a, a Shambling Vents or a, a Hissing Quagmire or something like that. Uh, but generally, not really worth it to ever take this purposely for the first mode. The second mode deals four damage to target player. Also, big whoop. Just dealing four damage to their face is not good it's only good if it wins you the game um just never worth a pick uh, i never want to waste a pick on this and i never ever ever want to main deck it it's sideboard at best next up we have undo war cleric undo war cleric is one and a white for a creature human cleric ally it's a two two it has cohort tap tap it on tap ally you control you gain two life i much prefer the black one that deals to or doesn't deal it loses two life to your opponent uh, but gaining two life is fine enough and you can combo it with things like cliffhaven vampire and stuff like that uh it's a fine enough card it's a two two for two at absolute worst so it's a fine pick it's certainly not first pickable though um, but it is main deckable Next up, we have Lead by Example. Lead by Example is one and a green for an instant. Support two. That's it. Um, support's fine. Uh, as I expected, support really trails off if you don't get the full value. But when you do get the full value, it generally feels decent enough. I did have somebody hit me for the full value of Gladeheart Cavalry. In fact, they had to make a choice because they had seven creatures. Um, support two is a lot easier to get the full value out of, but it's also significantly lower value this is uh, another card that i generally wouldn't really want to main deck it's kind of like mighty leap if i'm playing this it means that i didn't have a 23rd card um, certainly not first pickable and main deckable if you have to but try not to next up we have untamed hunger untamed hunger is two and a black for an enchantment aura enchanted creature gets plus two plus one and has menace uh, yeah, lots of combat tricks slash auras slash stuff that you can put in if you need to, but you really shouldn't. Um, if you had a super aggressive deck, I mean, you have a ton of one drops, two drops, three drops, and you want to just deal a lot of damage really fast, you could maybe give this a go. But playing this means you're playing one less creature. It means you're playing one less removal spell. It means you're playing one less card that actually gives you any sort of reach in the late game. Um, yeah, not something I generally want to do myself. But uh, if you have to, you can play it. Uh, hopefully we get something that's not a 23rd card. Pulse of Marasa. Well, that's much worse, I suppose. Two and a green for an instant. Return target creature, land car target creature or land card from a graveyard to its owner's hand. You gain six life. Uh, sideboard only, I would say. Yeah, you can bring a card back, but that's not generally worth a card. Yes, you get six life with it, which kind of uh, softens that blow a little bit. But just in general, this isn't that great of a card. Uh, it's a fine sideboard if you find out that you are really not the beat down and you need to live a little bit longer than your opponent is uh, going to give you a, a kind of time for or pressure for. So sideboardable at best, but certainly not first pickable, certainly not main deckable. Hey, there's a main deckable card. Tedruo Path Warden, four and a green for a creature elf warrior ally. It's a 5-4. It has Vigilance. It has Trample. Very simple, very plain, uh, as French vanilla as you can get, and just totally fine. A 5-4 five, for five with Vigilance Trample is just super duper solid. Seeing these come down on the other side of the board really sucks. It's really hard to deal with these if you don't have something to interact with it on the board or just a kill spell. And for a common... For such a simple creature, it's just really, really solid. Probably not first pickable, but good. Next up, we have Expedition Raptor. Expedition Raptor is three white, white for a creature bird. It's 2-2. Two, two. It has flying, and when it enters the battlefield, you get to support two. This is fine. 
Um, I've had a fair good deal of success with this. Obviously, you need to have creatures down, but most white decks are going to have creatures down. Blue-white flyers should have things down. Any uh, sort of white-green aggressive strategy should have creatures down. You should be able to get full value out of this, or at least partial value. Um, if you are really behind, this obviously is not going to save you in any way, shape, or form, but it's decent enough. Certainly not first pickable, but includable. Next up, we have Zada's Commando. Zada's Commando is one in a red for a creature, goblin, archer, ally. It has first strike. It's a 2-1, and it has cohort. Tap, tap it on tap to ally you control. Zada's Commando deals one damage to target opponent. It pings your opponent. Totally fine ability. Um, solid, solid, solid creature. 2-1 first strike for two is really good. Um, that basically means this is virtually a 2-3 as far as combat is concerned. In other words, a, a creature with three uh power and three toughness has to hit this thing in order for it to die um but yeah really really solid creature probably not first pickable certainly not last pickable as it was in my first draft with uh with the gate watch um but i generally want to avoid it as a first pick but total mid pack pick total include next up we have tranquil expanse tranquil expanse is a land it enters the battlefield tapped tap add green or white to your mana pool uh yeah not first pickable. If you, if you need this, if you want to go into those colors and you have something that's already kind of leading you that way, sure, totally fine pickup, um, but not a card you want to first pick. There are some first pick lands, but the uncommon tap lands are not them. Next up, we have Allied Reinforcements. Allied Reinforcements is three and a white for a sorcery. Put two, two, two white knight ally creature tokens onto the battlefield. This is just solid. Four, four for four. Totally fine. Totally good vanilla uh, kind of card. And if you have ally synergies, it gets that much better. It gets allies on the board for cohort. It uh, maybe triggers some rally abilities if you happen to pick up any. Um, but it's just an all-around solid card. I would first pick it in a weak pack, which this pack most certainly is. Let's see what the last on common and rare are. But uh, uh, yeah, I would first pick it if a pack was truly bad. Well, that's a pretty bad last on common. We've got Tears of Valakut, one in a red. Can't be countered by spells or abilities. It deals 5 damage to target creature with flying. This is not main deckable. It's a sideboard card. There's just not that many flyers kicking around unless you're up against a flyer's deck. Uh, do not main deck this. Uh, do not ever main deck plummet. I see people main deck plummet all the time. There are formats where you want to do it. This is just not one of them. Um, Tears of Alicut, same thing. Take it pretty late in the pack. When you're in red, it's there, and you've got nothing else really to take. Does the rare save us? Well, not really. It's going to be an interesting pack choice here. Oath of Chandra, one in a red for a legendary enchantment at rare. When Oath of Chandra enters the battlefield, it deals three damage to start creature or opponent. An opponent controls, sorry, not or opponent. At the beginning of each end step, if a planeswalker entered the battlefield under your control this turn, Oath of Chandra deals two damage to each opponent. Planeswalker part obviously does not matter in limited. That is flavor text. It's going to come up once every several 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 drafts uh for any one person for you specifically it's going to come up probably a couple times the entire format um so really this is just a sorcery speed three damage spell which is fine for two you know that, that's fine that's that's decent uh uh decent enough but Probably only first pickable in a weak pack, which this is the absolute definition of. And hey, we've got a foil. We've got Azula Port Chain Mage and some other stuff back there. Azula Port Chain Mage, Chain Mage is three and a black for a creature, human, shaman, ally. Four, two, cohort, tap, tap it on, tap, ally you control. Target opponent loses two life. It is the reverse of Undo or Cleric. Um, yeah, it's totally fine. As I said, I like this one a little bit more than the white one. It's a 4-2, which is super aggressive, and making your opponent lose two life is just really, really solid as well. Uh, pretty happy with it. Uh, it's going to be one of the cards that I would consider first picking in this pack, along with Oath of Chandra and Allied Reinforcements. Um, weak pack. Very, 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 very weak pack. Um, I would hate to open this. I would feel like I've lost the draft already. I think I ultimately would just go with the Oath of Chandra. It's three damage for two. It's not instant. You can't hit your opponent's face, 
but it is just removal. So I would probably first pick that and uh, hope that the rest of the packs kind of go my way. Definitely let me know what you would have taken, though. Would you have taken the Reinforcements, the Chain Mage, the Path Warden, uh, some other card in the pack, or would you have taken the Oath? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, you can find me on Twitter at the Manalik. That's L-E-E-K, like the vegetable, not the card. And you can also find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash the Manalik. You've already found me here on YouTube. You've got the comment section down below. Please make use of that, um, as I said, to let me know what card you would take or anything else. As well, if you like my videos, please click those thumbs up icons and subscribe. That will keep you up to date on all the latest crack -a pack Tuesdays, Wacky Wednesdays, Top 10 Thursdays, Spiky Saturdays, and all the other videos that pop up here and or there. But as always, if you have any other questions, comments, or suggestions, let me know. Otherwise, I will see you all next time. <laughs>